we have seen the application of sensing and machine learning, artificial intelligence affect every sector of society, but it's mostly focused on logistics, security, personalized ads and marketing. The next revolution, I believe, is going to be in healthcare. I have clinical experience with more severely affected children with autism who are understudied and underserved. When I first got into the field, one in 10,000 individuals by age eight were being diagnosed with autism. The current prevalence rates in the U.S. are one in 36. We do not understand what causes it. We have no cure for it. It's a spectrum of abilities from more able to more severely impacted or profound for whom we do not have much scientific data to guide intervention because they have a difficult time complying with laboratory-based research. Computing, sensing, artificial intelligence has been a way for us to instrument people and instrument places in the real world. We can take the lab to them instead of bringing them into the lab and include their data in our scientific literature. Within that more profound segment of autism, 50 to 60% engage in interfering or challenging behaviors like self-injury, aggression to other people, property destruction. Families will tell you that they cannot predict when these behaviors will occur. They come out of the blue. And that these are major quality of life negative impacts. If you don't know when your child may erupt into an aggressive behavior, you don't go to the movies. You don't go to church. You don't go to the market. And so we're using wearable sensors that can record heart function, sweating, motor activity that do not require conscious input from the child with autism wearing them for us to record how is their physiological body changing over time. We're also giving mobile phone applications to caregivers and clinicians who can tell us opportunistically when are these behaviors occurring onset, offset and then training machine learning classifiers to make a prediction about the likelihood of a behavior occurring before it happens. And we can currently do that three minutes in advance of a behavior with over 80% accuracy. So based on a certain kind of trigger, a certain expression of the behavior, if you're more like somebody the system has seen before, it can start to prescribe interventions that it thinks is gonna be the most successful based on what's worked for others in the past. We now have opportunities to provide notifications in advance with artificial intelligence, truly intelligence, about not trial and error, but based on others like you, this is what I think you can try. And try to prevent or avoid those aggressive behaviors from occurring in the first place. So it's making the invisible visible, and then we can act on it. This is not just lab-based, this is not just academic exercises. We publish papers, we get grants, but we're putting things out into the world that people are using, and we're able to continue to collect information about what benefit it is having. There is a direct, applied, I don't have to estimate whether this is working or not, I can see for myself 